So what is a Stroppendragger? It's beer o'clock and today we have a bottle of the Rebels Strop coming in at 6.9% ABV. Now, if you remember last week how I reviewed the Gents Strop. Now, Gents Strop, um, they brought out five years ago. And they just, this hasn't been out that long actually. This is now the, 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 the big brother of the Gents Strop. And the difference with this one is they've used the Brett strain of yeast in this. The famous, famous Belgian Brett strain of yeast. So, and that's what the brewers want you to do. They want you to take a different approach um, with the follow-up beer for the for the popular Ghent Strop. Now, as you know, um, the Ghent Strop, it's always served to you on the gallows. And what they do is they serve it like this, and what you're meant to do is get your glass and, and pour it in like so. Now, the reason of the gallows, right, it's not a gimmick. There's a history behind it. Um, the people of Ghent, um, back in 1540, they, they refused to pay an additional war tax to Emperor Charles V. So he rounded up all the ringleaders, right, put a noose around their necks, <coughs> and... Um, as a sign of they deserved to go to the gallows, but they didn't go to the gallows. And it was, the noose rep represents a form of resistance um, for, uh, against tyranny and misplaced authority. And the people of um, Ghent, the people who did this were known as the Stroppendraggers, which is the noose wearers. So that's a little story behind this. Let's Let's crack open the bottle. Just hope it's not lively. No, nope, that's fine. I took that off carefully because uh, my mate Barry wants that. He, he collects uh, these. So let's get into the glass. There we go, how's that? And there we have a perfectly poured Rebel Strop. Let's turn that round to the camera. So, first impressions are it's a lovely um, golden colour. Slightly orange tinge to it. It's a sort of like a sort of marmalady gold. It's got a beautiful two finger white frothy head on it. Let's get the aromas. Oh my word. Well, first of all, the yeast makes your nose tingle. And you've got Banana, citrus fruit, you can smell the coriander. There's a honey hue to it, and it's also a real sort of sweet, sweet malt. And you've got that sort of bubblegum yeasty smell as well. Really does smell the part, this. You know, I thought the Ghent Strop was good last week. But I prefer the, the aroma of this. The this, this aroma of this is absolutely fantastic. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Whoa. 
that's really, really refreshing. It hits your mouth. You can feel it's really, really refreshing. And then you're getting this, this attack of sweet malts, followed by the herbs, which is obviously the coriander, and this yeastiness. It's got a really, really long finish on this. That actually turns sort of bittery, sort of, sort of more sort of lemon peel bitterness. Oh, it's still, it's still finishing. You know, you think how long ago I last took the sip. This is a great summertime drink. I can't wait. Well, hopefully I can get over the bruise in the summer. Cool. I, I, I quite fancy a few glasses of this on a hot day during the day, sitting there watching the world go by. This is really, really good. It's quite a bit of sharpness to it. But that was sort of finished a bit of lemon peel. Really, really nice. Dry, bitter. Um, like today's been lovely in the UK. It really has. And this really, you know, it's sort of, what's it, sort of six o'clock now. It's still lovely outside, still it's really nice. This is going down a treat. It really, really is. This is definitely a beer, a daytime beer. It's 6.9%. It's just right on a hot day, sitting in Bruges, watching the world go by outside a bar. Um, yeah, I could I could quite easily do that, no problem. And this is the beer for it, it really is. It's a really interesting beer. This would actually go well with the mules, which is the mussels, mules and frits, mules and frits, and a glass of this would go down a treat. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's got this bitter lemon finish. You know, it's going to go well with seafood. I'm really impressed with this. I like to know how it would develop over time as well. I think perhaps this is about, about six months. Six months I've had this bottle, or these bottles. So I've aged them for about six months. And I actually think that if you age these a couple of years, this would be more refined and more mellow, um, a little bit sweeter as well, which is interesting. I might actually um, age a couple of these because I've got quite a few bottles um, and, and revisit them in, in like 18 months time and see what sort of difference these are because I think these the, the, the strop and the rebel strop the against strop and the rebel strop are going to age really really well and give a total different taste sensation absolutely fantastic beer it's from the Roman brewery which obviously um, is quite a famous brewery in Belgium, in in, in, in Ghent, um, they do some very very good beers, but literally these ones here, 
you really really need to, to check them out it's a fantastic beer it's a beer to try before you die you know, I, you know I always say that to a good beer so look see if you can get hold of a bottle of this now the best thing you can do is go to Belgium in a box to get this um, they do it with the glass the the gallows um, nine bottles of beer and it's about 20, 20 odd euros which is quite a bit of a bargain really um, correct me if I'm wrong it might be 25 euros for the whole, for, for, for nine bottles the gallows and the glass you know that's that's not a lot of money and for, for some fantastic beer so look get yourself get yourself some of this try it see what you think leave a comment below give us a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time I bring out a new review and of course subscribe to the channel and like I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night TT says never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly